Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Hey, a Ron here. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend here. We have a fun slash informative one for you guys here in today's video, talking about the basics of destroyer play and such. I had a, a viewer pop into the stream and ask, you know, you know, how do I become a better player in destroyer? He was just being a student of the game. I believe he was a PC player, but just talking, he somehow found my channel. He's like, hey, you know, how do I become a better player in destroyers and what line of destroyers to grind? And I've been meaning to do the best line to grind video for probably two years now, but alas, uh, the British destroyers are an excellent place to start. Their quick, short duration smoke screens, their sonar, their guns, their torpedoes, pretty much everything about them is good. But throughout this game, I'm just talking about different topics and such, so I'm going to leave this one to the live comms for the educational purposes. And this game also highlights how you don't have to get an exuberant amount of damage in order to be effective and score a decent amount of XP in the process. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let me know if you learned something about this. I'm going to be doing more in-depth videos, but in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys later. Ocean Cup 4 potential stream tonight. I'm not sure if we can... Uh, leak our strategy just yet but uh, just know that that is in the works i love you guys i'm out peace um all right so andy what okay first thing you want to do is you want to look at the enemy lineup and determine how many radars now you may not know but ships like the american cruisers cleveland has a radar you may think rochester has one but it doesn't and constellation actually has a radar so knowing what ships have a radar and then knowing what ships and their capabilities right the Kagero is a very good, uh, is a is a Japanese boat with good torpedoes and good concealment, but the guns have a slower reload. The Fletcher is an American gunboat. It has very good guns, not the best concealment, okay? Um, and then the Grom is the pan-European alternative line. Typically, those ships have radar, but I don't think the Grom does. So, also, this little half-gray circle is called Twist and Track, or Perceptive. It lets me know the general location of the enemy ship every it's not 15 or seconds um it's I, I don't know what it is but basically it gives you like a general location right also the located icon which is right by my head here oh no 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 there that one right there a little located icon okay that is letting me know that an, a ship on the enemy team has that located symbol so right off the bat here we know that um there's pr most likely a destroyer coming this way. So we're going to go ahead and pop our hydro, maybe a little bit soon, and then we're going to put out some zoning torpedoes. Now these are just guesses, right Andy? Just strictly guesses. Based off of playing this game a bunch. It's just it's just a guess, right? They're, zone, they're called zoning torpedoes. You put them in the general zone you think there's going to be a ship. Also, I'm not giving away my concealment, but I am moving ahead to spot for my teammates. I'm also ready to turn in. Right? I'm ready to turn in because there could be torpedoes on the way for me. I'm just... Torpedoes to starboard. Yep. There are the zoning torps from them. Terrible decision from this Kagero. So we've got him trapped in Hydro, our sonar, right? Generator at torpedoes astern. Smoke screen set.
that's a problem. All stations requesting fire support. Fuck it. There's something over here spotting me. What's that, Cody? What's that, Cody? I can't hear you over the sound of my torpedoes hitting his boat. Now, Andy, this game is, this, this particular game has been one where our team has done their job. But for example, right now, our destroyer pushing this engagement, like, it, it, it's not necessarily like a winning play, if that makes sense. I'm waiting for the shot from the Azuma. We stop, we turn in, and now well, most of his shells miss, right? After that point, we wait a few seconds because we know that his reload is about 20 seconds. We go ahead and stop, we smoke up, so that way he, then we back up, we change course, so that way if he does decide to shoot again, we know that his shot is gonna be misplaced. Our twist and track, we're paying attention to our twist and track. It turns towards the center of the map. Only one of those hit, unfortunately. We also know, like, this is part of the, playing the game that you have to pay attention to later in later in the game. There's still a destroyer somewhere out here, right? So I, if I start shooting, watch. Perfect. I mean, you, you couldn't have timed it better. You, you couldn't have timed it better. Am I going to get this kill? No. Nope. Destroyers in Narnia. I don't think that was a torp build, Fletcher, Cody. I just. I don't know. I want to get my jerk off ribbon. So, Andy, there, there's. there's so, the, the role of a destroyer, right? Your, your three main roles, and I've made plenty of videos about this. Your main role in a destroyer is to spot, it's to cap, and then it's to torp. Okay? Spot, right? You see the little this little icon here? Spotting for your team. 
this little icon. Let me turn my head. That's your primary role. Now, in certain situations, you don't always have to spot, like if you're, you know... But basically, because of my concealment and my agility and my speed, I can get in positions a lot faster, a lot safer than any other... Um, any other... Oh, it is a three-bar Cody? Yikes. I can get in those positions a lot better than most other ships, okay? After that, capping, right? A lot of players, if they would just fucking cap, the game would be infinitely better for them. Why? Because when you cap, the points start to tick in your favor, okay? As soon as this cruiser dies, it's over. Um, hopefully they kill one of them. And again, as soon as you cap, you don't have to go on the offensive. Now, I we, we did in this game because the enemy absolutely collapsed. But kill the Udachi. Please kill the Udachi. Please, 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 please. Please kill the Udachi. Yes! Oh, that's not going to take it for the cruiser. Oh, there's still 18 points. Let's go, dude. Victory is in sight. I want my jerk-off ribbon. But as soon as you spot and as soon as you cap, and, and in doing those two things... Don't lose more than 50% of your health. Do you see, even after shooting out in the open, shooting multiple different ships, I still have over 50% of my health. Now, granted, you don't need to have all of your health. You don't need to go behind enemy lines trying to get torpedoes on. I think that's the worst play that any... any destroyer can make. Guy, I need to do like just enough damage to him. But again, it just takes thousands. I have twenty-three thousand games played. I have I have twenty-three thousand games played. I I only have learned a good portion of this because I have made the mistakes myself. Right. I need to not get this killed. Let's go, jerk off ribbon, baby. Let's go. Yeah, and there you go. I mean, I should probably make that into a video, right? Again, and and this is a lot of a lot of stuff that um, you're probably still learning. Um, like we we think kills and damage, right? I didn't break a hundred thousand damage. I didn't get but one kill, but the amount of assists and because of what I did, we we one point five x basically the next best score. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, Andy, again, again, it's 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 getting the cap and if you can't get it right away, do do a U-turn. Drop your torps, get out of there safely, avoid the radars, avoid the other destroyers. I didn't have any radar threats or any true other gunboat destroyer threats the, until the Fletcher at the very end. Yeah, you like that, Paul? It looks like a, it looks like a little jerk-off hand. 